the homeowners appreciate vintage design and furniture and wanted a design and spatial layout to interweave with their collection of vintage pieces for their expanding family. Instead of focusing on the theme or a certain look, we focused more on the materials and how they translate to make sense for the homeowner and space. This home is 1,000 square feet. It's a four-room BTO located in Tampines and the homeowners have been staying here with their son for seven months. When you enter the home, you will first see a foyer for people to take off their shoes. The homeowner likes to keep the door open for air circulation but values privacy. To make sure of that, we added a wall with glass blocks to obscure the home and allowing light to pass through. The vintage pendant lampshade creates interesting light texture to illuminate the space. The foyer immediately leads you into the dining, so we deployed these colourful, authentic cement tiles to demarcate these two spaces that will age gracefully with time. The homeowners liked to host and bake, so we house this large tally wooden dining table filled with resin for intimate gatherings. They received their dining chairs from their parents and wanted to include them in the home. They reupholstered the cushion to give it a new breath of life. Behind the dining, we built a pantry out of a bowl wood grain for the homeowner to store a snack and a small space for him to make coffee in the morning. We took into account that the homeowners are frequent hosts and created an open concept kitchen for active conversations throughout the kitchen and dining. To fully utilize their kitchen space, we installed this vintage window grill to act as a statement piece that can be used to hang their kitchen tools. To keep cleaning practical in the kitchen, we use black cords for the countertop and biscuit towels for the bedspread that have interesting inconsistency in line with the vintage age look. On the kitchen ceiling, you will see a vintage doorbell that adds nostalgia to the space of the house. So before we continue, let me just share with you some exciting news about a new launch in Pasir Panjang, the Hillshaw. Perched on a hillside overlooking the Greater Southern Waterfront, the Hillshaw grants you breathtaking sea views while being surrounded by flora and fauna. So you get to enjoy curated facilities such as a 25 meter lap pool, a gym, badminton court, a sky grill and so much more. The Hillshaw is a freehold development with two five-storey blocks consisting of 59 units offering a mix of two to four bedroom apartments, each of them with high ceilings, luxury fittings and premium appliances. Just a short stroll away from Hopa Villa MRT, you'll have easy access to key amenities such as NUS and NUH. Apart from that, work and leisure destinations such as Vivo City, Marina Bay Sands and the CBD are also easily accessible. So if you'd like to learn more about the Hill Shore, you can visit this showroom or click on the link in the description box below. But for now, let's head back to our tour. We kept the living room simple. We stopped the living room with the vintage furniture and blinds. The living room is filled with the homeowner's vintage pieces. Most of the furniture was made of thick and is where the family spends most of their time together with vintage lamps in the corner of the space. The 
living room receives a lot of natural light, so we installed these wooden string blinds to control it and create interesting shadows. For the son's room, it was entirely loose furnishing. The homeowners wanted the flexibility to change the spatial layout as he grows older. We painted half of the wall in green with this playful wave-like motion that I drew myself. For the common bathroom, we wanted to create an aged look. So we chose this vintage subway tiles with inconsistent color variation for the walls. We chose this red concrete sink to fit into the warm theme. The master bedroom was designed and motivated by the homeowner's love for denim. We painted the ceiling blue to match his go-to denim colours and used the structural beams as a gauge in order to blend the beams with the ceiling. The bed frame was flush against the window to create more space with the built-in wardrobe and to accommodate a large dresser. Above the dresser, are shelves made of timber repurposed from local Singapore trees that fell. You can see a few of them throughout the home. For the master bathroom, we went with a blue theme to match with the master bedroom and to contrast with the common bathroom directly beside. The master bathroom walls are lined with wavy Spanish blue tiles and playfully paired with oriental flower pattern sink. We believe each space is unique. It should narrate the homeowner's lifestyle, their stories, what they like. It should be honest and we should not overly rely on concepts or style. We hope that this space is timeless. It fits into their current requirements and it grows together with them, especially with the materials. We hope that they age gracefully with time along with the homeowners.